While those lawsuits with drug makers play out in courts across the country, here in Indiana, healthcare workers, harm reduction experts, and government officials are working to get Hoosiers the help they need. As Tyler Lake reports, the game together in Bloomington this week is part of a summit meant to tackle the opioid crisis head on. Indiana's top drug treatment and enforcement official says the state is getting better at addressing the opioid crisis. The number of overdose deaths in the state did decline last year, 12.9 percent. That's the uh, provisional data from the CDC. McClellan pointed to a bill that gives local communities the ability to establish a syringe exchange program without state approval as one example of success. State Representative Matt Pierce says getting fellow legislators to support harm reduction programs like syringe exchanges is crucial. We really have to do a lot of work explaining to them, you know, what, it, what is it like to suffer an addiction mm -hmm. where you have, you know, both the drive to achieve the high and also the fear of going through withdrawal. Chief Justice Loretta Rush says cooperating is the most effective way to protect communities suffering from the effects of opioid abuse. Because we are, have to be involved with finding solutions because these people are before us on a daily basis. We see their lives being destroyed by addictions. We lock them up. If their children go into foster care, and we've, we've got to find a way to deal with the problem and the disease. Rush helped found the National Judicial Opioid Task Force, which provides courts across the U.S. with tools to help individuals successfully recover from opioid abuse rather than punishing them. You can't just say, okay, we're going to lock everybody up. It's not working. So, what treatments can we order? You can you can um, give a consequence to the behavior with regard to criminal behavior, but how do you deal with the disease of addiction? Rush says that outside of family or friends, the court system is the number one referral source to get people the treatment they need. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Tyler Lake.